So today we're playing this War of Mine. This is episode two. We are on day three or four. Not really sure which. Can't quite remember. Um, I found out a lot. The pronunciation of Pavle or Pavli is Pavel because he's Russian. You can make beds. You can find shovels. I don't think you can make them. Could be wrong on that. Bunch of stuff that I've found out. Uh, so I guess the best way that we're going to, best way that I'm going to show you what I've learned is to just do it. Because I don't really remember what all I've learned. I just know that I learned a lot. So, X to continue. Checking save data. Another story, write my own story. Continue. Because we're gonna start off where we left off last, which again, I think it's day three, might be day four, not entirely certain. It's still loading. It's taking a minute. Okay, yeah, we're on day three. Oh, look at all this stuff. I wish I could bring back so much more. Pavel is hungry and slightly sick, but he's recovering. He should be waking up soon, because I did find out that they wake up on their own. Bruno's our good cook who smokes. He's hungry, slightly wounded, and tired, so we'll get him to bed. Doing anything. I learned a couple of tips as well. Um, one thing was to have them sleep during the day, and then at night, have two people guard while one is scavenging, just in case, because Things tend to tend to. Things do tend to happen while you're away. Right now it's only 7.40 a.m., so we have plenty of time before we start the night. Uh, Marco is our skilled scavenger. He's very tired. So we actually do need to get him to sleep. He's hungry. We'll get him down to still hungry. Select it. There we go. Pavel's our fast runner. He says we need food. No. Ah. Whoops. So the trouble here is that our, sca our skilled scavenger is tired, but we need him to go scavenge. So hopefully he gets enough sleep during this day. It's only 10 a.m. now, so hopefully he gets enough sleep during today so that when we send him out, He'll be ready to... Someone's at the door. Someone's here. Whoa, there's another character! Oh, I heard about this. Oh, let's see. Have a look at what I brought. Franco, so he's... Huh. Okay, I guess now would be a good time to ask ourselves what we need. What is this? Are those matches? Fuel. Everything that we can burn in the heater to warm up our place or in the stove to cook food. <sighs> I want that. What can you give me for that? Alright, so we're offering up jewelry, which says it's a valuable bartering item. So let's see if we can get a bit more. So let's see if we can find we can have a deal. I won't, it won't do, try harder. Okay, so it lets you know what's equivalent. Um, we'll take some clean water. So what I'm doing now is just selecting what I want, and then I'm going to give him things in return until he accepts them. Uh, which may not be the best idea, I just feel like it's, it's a good option right now to figure out what it is that he's looking for and until we can get right at that sweet spot of okay we can have a deal because that's that's going to be considered like the minimum of what we can give up fine we can have a deal okay what i'm trying to do now is fine tune the conditions to get right at that sweet spot there's my tobacco won't do try harder 
You've got to be kidding me. Show me some more. Okay, so bandages are worth a good bit. All right, we'll just go ahead and stick with that. Need anything else? No. We're good. He says he hopes snipers won't see him. Well, that sounds like a problem you're going to have to deal with on your own there, buddy. I think I have shivers. We're going to have him take some herbal meds. Hopefully that helps. He's only slightly sick, and he says he, he might have the shivers. Whatever that is. I think I've taken enough for today. Okay, cool. eat some raw food because he's hungry so we'll make him still hungry all right it's 1 1 30 p.m. now so what we're gonna do is go ahead and end the day with circle are you sure you want to end the day yes the night all right so that was our first time skipping that um, Is anyone tired? Okay, everyone's tired, condition's taken care of. So, we'll have our skilled scavenger scavenge, obviously. We'll have two people guard. And that should leave us good to go. Um, now, we visited the shelled cottage. That's, that's what we did last time. But I was told that we should go back until we have everything from every location. So, I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to go back to the shelled college, cottage. I did that last time. College shelled cottage and we're not going to give him anything to work with uh, because all we really have is ammunition fuel that's that's about it so let's go scavenge and what we're doing right now is going in and grabbing everything we can and, and everything that we need as soon as it's unloaded there we go can't search the fridge or this little desk anymore. That may be because we emptied it before. I can't search that. Hmm. Oh, we can still... Okay, so if it's cleared out, it won't let you search it anymore because it's empty, so like, why would you need to? I got a little nervous there, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I thought we were... I thought we were going to be done. Done for. Back upstairs, please. Their bios changed too, apparently, so I'm gonna check that. I thought I'd been through hell before, I'm a fireman. I've entered blazing buildings to save lives or former neighbor. Okay, yeah. So that's still the same. That's not changed yet. That door's still locked. Let's go out here and check this. I really hope we can upgrade his bag or get him a, get him a bigger bag or something because this sucks. Alright, we have plenty of wood now. So, we're gonna go ahead and head back. See, when you start to learn how the game works, you can really start streamlining this process of how things go and how well oiled this machine is that is your base. Um, which is really interesting. I think it's really cool, actually. Because you just saw that went way faster than last episode. We're on day four now. Or it may have gone faster. I don't know. It may just be because I'm playing. Who knows? But he said he said he said he's found plenty of fine stuff. We got 20 wood and 20 mat building materials, I think they're called. So we're going to check on these guys. He's tired, so we're gonna lay him back down. Oh, he's very hungry. First, we're gonna get him to eat. Eat. Thank you. Sorry, I'm just I'm reading their different complaints. Not very filling, but it's food. He's still very hungry. We're gonna try the canned food. Because he got to a dangerously a dangerously uh hunger level. A dangerously low hunger level. So we're gonna have him eat until he's still hungry. Uh, it's another thing I heard that until you get more food prepared, that's a good place to be. He's tired, so we'll have him sleep. He was up all night. Can you blame the guy? 
Now we'll switch. Poffle's our fast runner. He's still tired as well. I'd gladly eat something. He's hungry. Oh, we're gonna run out of food very quickly. Still hungry. That's fine. That's pretty much what you're gonna have to be for now there, Pavel. Again, that's Pavel, not Pavle or Pavli. However I pronounced it or tried to pronounce it before. It's not the way it's pronounced. Someone else is at the door now. I hear them knocking. Hey, I need help. Please open. Oh, no. Things are starting to happen, ladies and gentlemen. Marco's hungry and tired, so we'll go and have him eat. Now we'll go see who's at the door. Open the door, please. She waved. He waved. I don't... No, back out. I cannot get... Oh, my God. I'm trying to have a heart. <laughs> Thank goodness you're here. A shell hit a tenement. Ooh, gross. Sorry. Lights. <clears throat> Ugh, light stomach. <clears throat> Thank goodness you're... My eyes are water. A shell hit a tenement down the street, and people are buried beneath the rubble. Please help me pull them out. Every pair of hands is needed. We will organize a makeshift hospital for the wounded at my home. I have some beds and medical supplies. Will you help? Yes. Oh. And just like that, we lost a character. Sorry I had to see that. Uh, <laughs> like I said, a light stomach, I guess, to uh, blood and, and things like that. I don't really pass out, I just get sick to my stomach. The time is currently 11.30. Um, and we are down a character or person because he left to go help someone. And they're both tired. It's only a day. Okay, this is gonna be the end of the episode. Uh, I know it doesn't seem like we did much, but I've learned a lot and the videos and, well, these episodes and the game itself should get more and more streamlined as we continue to play. Uh, it's 12.40. We're going to go ahead and end it leave. So yeah, that may have not seemed like that long of an episode. I just didn't want this one to drag on the way the last one did because it went a little longer than expected. So, uh, yeah, this is the end of the episode. I hope you guys liked it. I hope you're enjoying watching. There's a new series. Um, I don't know when it's going to be up yet. Still working on it. Still working on getting the video done and the intro and everything set up, but it's coming. It's a new series. For now, the title is Share Play God, and the idea is that anyone who wants to can send a video in that's made only on their PS4 using Share Play. And this is kind of to show different people's styles, how people see things differently when. Uh, making videos, which I think will be really cool, It'll be a really neat experience. Uh, the first one is going to be from a guy named Death Sniper 15. Uh, he's he's a dude I play a lot with on Battlefield, and uh, we've played Titanfall 2 together, Battlefield 4, Battlefield 3. We've we've gamed together for quite some time. Uh, really cool guy, really good at almost every first-person shooter he plays. It's kind of ridiculous. Dude has like a 2.65 average on any Call of Duty he's played. So, until the next This War of Mine episode, or the next uh, episode of, or not next, the first episode of Shareplay God, this has been Karos. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and stay frosty, and stay humble. <laughs>